hello viewers i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and uh, in our previous video we talk about uh, the custom list in sharepoint uh, we created this custom list with different types of columns uh, as we all know that there are different type of uh, columns uh, they have different data types uh, it can be a single line of text let me show you here <coughs> if you go in this settings uh, if i click on a new column create column uh, then here you can see that there are different type of co uh, columns uh, data types that can be added uh, let's say there is a single line of text there is a multiple line of text there is a choice column number currency and so on uh, today uh, we will talk about the multiple lines of text with append changes this uh, requirement occurs normally in your uh, environment when you want that all the users who are entering or logging their uh, entries may be appended in the uh, existing text along with the date and uh, date time stamp along with the user stamp so that is used for that purpose let's say I say uh, it's a logging column and it's a multiple line of text and in this text here you can see that uh, uh, if I say append changes to existing list, I will say yes, okay, and I will click on okay. But the uh, append changes will not work if you haven't uh, turned on versioning in the list. So it's very important that you uh, turn on the versioning. Versioning is is actually uh, it keeps the previous versions as well uh, along with the latest one that is shown. And you can access the previous versions as well so what I will do I will uh, quickly go to uh, settings and here I will go into uh, version settings and here I will say create a version each time okay this is the optional I will leave it blank and uh, now what I can do I can create a column now <coughs> I will again name it logging and I will say it's a multiple line of text and I will say append changes to existing text and I will click OK. Uh, at this time after the versioning is enabled the, this uh, column will be successfully created and let's go and search for this column whether it's available in the view. Yes it's available. Uh, so what it is for let me say that uh, let me tell you if I go to edit and if I say test logging data by admin I will save it and you will notice that when I will click uh, to view that column you will notice that the entry which I have just uh, logged here in this field has been saved along with the user and date timestamp so this is not editable right now and whatever you will uh, again log in the same uh, column it will be logged with the uh, date and time of that particular user uh, let me uh, show you here let's say I am logging the same uh, list to different users that is HR manager if I refresh it and I click on John you will see that the logging entry is enabled it's shown along with the date timestamp and I uh, what I do <coughs> I start editing it okay there is no option for edit let me quickly give it give this user the edit permissions so that the HR manager can easily edit if I say HR employees edit user permissions and I will click on contribute so now this user can contribute into the existing list column and I will click on edit 
and now I will say that logging by HR manager now you are noticing that the previous record is already uh, shown here in read only format and whatever you are doing whatever you are entering uh, in multiple line of text field will uh, after saving it it will also be converted into read only view along with the date timestamp of the user and time okay so let me save it okay it has been saved and now i can view it by uh, clicking on the view so here you can see that the first entry was created at this time by sp19 admin the second ad I, uh, entry is created by the hr manager at 540 time this is the hr manager and he has just logged in and enter this entry so in this way you can uh, create a multiple line of text column along with that date time stamp that is known as append changes to the existing text so this is a commonly used field where you want that all the date all the entries must be logged in must be properly logged along with the user and uh, time date stamp so you can use this uh, type data type so i thank you all for watching this video and guys subscribe my channel to continue watching more videos